Before you can do EVAR, in the, in the old days, you had to have a good data set, CT data set, thin slice data set. And then, in the OR, you had to rely on, on a good angiographic equipment, DSA, and uh, you have to make sure that you get the right obliquity, and sometimes this was cumbersome, really, to adopt, or to, to, um, to really get the right angulation so that you are sure that you put the prosthesis where you wanted it to put onto or exactly position it. So these are the traditional limitations. Sometimes you needed several runs, several oblique runs, and that added to the complexity, radiation dose, and contrast material. Fusion imaging means that you take some traditional X-rays or fluoroscopic images, you overlay them with a CT data set. Could be an MR data set as well, but traditionally or now we are using a, again, high quality thin slice CT data set, overlap them with bony landmarks, typically an anterior and a lateral view, and these are then fused electronically. This is fusion imaging. Well, just by fusing this image, there's no advantage so far. Of course, this fusion process should help you through other uh, software elements then to do sort of a virtual reality procedure. And when you have those bony landmarks overlap with your CT data set, then the software allows you to put markers on the renal arteries, the inferior mesenteric, the superior mesenteric, the celiac trunk, and then you get a much better orientation during your deployment process of EVAR or fenestrated EVARs or branched EVARs. Besides our own data, which clearly show that we can reduce the the radiation dose to about 50% of what it was before. We save imaging. Um, we don't need as many runs. There's a lot of literature now, very recent literature, really supporting also our view that we can reduce fluoroscopy times, that we can reduce radiation overall, that we can uh, reduce contrast material spent for the procedure, and also reduce the operational time. So. This is now, I think, very clear. We use it now in, in all complex aortic procedure, but also in the, in the simple ones, because that really reduces the radiation, and which, is, which is so important for all of us. A lot of criticism has been you know, raised concerning the amount of contrast you spend, um, the, the procedural time and so forth. And if you look at the nice guidelines, which sort of reflect technical problems with the, with the EVA prosthesis or EVA with the, with the material, the placement and so forth, now having something that improves it is very, very important. And that's daily routine now in our, in our place.